Hi everyone, I'm Jessica, welcome back. Today I am just starting my week three for the Stargazer quilt along, this, this quilt right here. This week we're making the flying geese. I already shared the video on how to make the flying geese, but today I wanted to share with you what mine look like and what I'm doing. I'm making a Halloween version of this quilt and I'm kind of changing the stars up in color. Let me show you what I'm doing. So the first thing I did was I pulled up the pattern. This is just the cover page of the pattern. And I took a look at how many stars we need. We need 28 stars. There is also a free coloring page for this uh, pattern on my blog that uh, I'll link to below if you didn't know it was there. And you can kind of color on the paper to see if you like the color combinations or the layout. What I did was I took a look at my stars and I tried to see if I split these up into different colors, like what would be a nice way to do it. And I just thought of ways that I could break this up. So for this center star round, I decided to do every other color. So I'm going to do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, one color, and the remaining ones, another color. And then I decided to do the same thing for this outside. So this one and this one will be one color. And then I'm going to mirror that to make these two and these two and these two. So I'm gonna have four different color stars and let me show you the fabrics I picked out. And here's what I have chose. So I've actually been cutting this quilt out as we went and this week I cut for two, for this week and next week I cut for two steps because when I was planning these stars uh, I was planning the center and the flying geese and they're gonna be different colors. So what I did was I I cut my centers, which I'll set aside for next week when we assemble the stars, and I cut my flying geese. So I paired these up. I did like a purple pair with gray flying geese. This is going to be my center. I did two, these center oranges are going to get these purple geese. These center oranges are going to get these pink geese. And then I'm going to have another set that's oranges with orange geese. So uh, the way that the math worked out, I'm making six of these, six of these, six of these, and then eight of these. I think this is going to be really fun and it's going to add some interest to those rounds of stars. Now I do like in the cover pattern how they all are all one color. They stand out and they're really bold and beautiful. Um, but in this Halloween version, I'm kind of going for a scrappier layout. So that's why I decided to uh, split it up like this. So now my task for this week um, which will be the same as yours is to make my flying geese. I have everything split out um, for the the actual flying geese I'm going to be using cream and this is the same color that I've been using in the background. Now I did decide to when I'm making these stars and I cut these out early I did decide to cut the corner of my star blocks out and I am going to go kind of scrappy for this. These are the creams, the cream prints that were in my Halloween bundle, plus um, some sari fabric that I had in black, and also, here it is, in pink. So uh, I'm going to spread these around. These are going to be the corners of my stars, but I'm setting this aside till next week, as well as the centers. So right now, I'm just going to focus on making the flying geese. So it's time to get sewing. I have my big stack of rectangles here and I brought over one of my colors. Now what I do when I have these all, so if you'll remember, we need two squares per rectangle for a flying geese. So before I start sewing, I just go through this pile and I divide it up because one pile is gonna be the left side and one pile is gonna be the right side. And I just wanna make sure that when I was cutting, I actually cut correctly and I have even amounts. So I'll just keep um, separating these and then I will sew one side on my geese and I'll set these aside and then once I'm finished sewing that then I'll sew this other pile onto my geese to finish those up. I went ahead and I made one of each of the geese that I'll be using in this quilt and um, I'm showing you them here so you can see the variety. These are prints are so cute. Uh, normally I do not like to press my flying geese. I did it here so they'd lay flat so you could see what they looked like um, but I will not press any of the other geese needed in this quilt until they are in the block. That's my favorite way to do it. So I'm looking forward to getting all of these made and I know that when we put these into stars next week, they are just going to be so charming. <laughs> 